you know, water based that was what's the buzz uh, that uh, the question that we'd put forward to you at the start of the show we'd asked you why water buzz was uh, going up on the BSC and somebody's written into us with why he thinks water base is going up it says reports of Avanti feeds taking a uh, stake in the company seem to be doing the rounds and that's what that's what's uh, helping the stock move up Ambarish have you heard anything about water base yeah, I mean, I've heard about water base, but uh, I don't have any idea of, as to why Avanti... ...sells gold coins and medallions, she says, at a price much higher than the price of gold. Ricky wants to know why this is the case. And we did some research on Gold Quest International. Here's what we found out. The company is based in Hong Kong. It retails gold products, mostly coins, jewellery, medallions. The most popular coins are those of Pope John Paul II and Mother Teresa. GoldQuest has offices in nine countries. The company has a stake in Mayer's Mint, which is one of Germany's private mints, and it also has relationships with the Royal Australian and Canadian Mints. Well, to answer Ricky's question now, we're joined on the line from Bangkok by J.R. Mayer, Associate Director of GoldQuest International. He's also the Director of Mayer's Mint, which actually mints the coins for Gold Quest. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for joining us. If I could take up the question that one of our viewers has written in, what really is the USP of your product? Now, we understand you retail fine gold uh, articles, but why is there such a high premium as far as price is concerned? Well, good afternoon and uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, the, actually, I would like to clarify first that the coin is not but the coins in metal are not that incredibly expensive. If you compare it with the average price all over the world, for example, markets in Asia, Southeast Asia, Europe, and the U.S., coins and medallions of one ounce gold are often priced anywhere between 700 to 1500 U.S. dollars per piece. 700 to 1500 dollars. Right. Now, on the other hand, you have to consider that we are not retailing uh, bullion coins, but we are retailing numismatic coins, and these coins have special collectible value, which mainly consists of the fact that they uh, have a limited mintage, which we certify with a uh, certificate accompanying each coin and medallion. Also, all our coins and medallions are manufactured in proof finish, which is the highest minting standard. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the coins have a high degree of artistic value, which starts when we do the designs, the molds, the dyes, the tooling basically, and also in the uh, production process, which is very manual, combined with high technology. Okay. Right. Mr. Mayor, now someone who is buying into this, apart from a, se a sentimental value or a collector's uh, agenda, what is the kind of resale that they could be looking at if they're buying it from the point of view of an investment? Okay, um, I, I have difficulty understanding the question from an acoustic point of view. Could you please repeat it? Yes, I was saying that if, if somebody is buying it from an investment perspective, and as you said, that there is a certain degree of premium because these are a series, these are limited editions of gold coins, what is the kind of retail, uh, uh, excuse me, resale that someone is looking at? Okay, the details basically have to be that, uh, as the, the, the three key characteristics which I ma mentioned, number one, a coin has to be of limited mintage. A coin or medallion which is unlimited uh, will never increase price due to the fact there will be never a higher demand than their supply. Once you satisfy the whole market, basically there cannot be any excess demand. In our case, where all the products are limited in addition, you will basically have a situation where, for example, the uh, Mother Teresa coin, which we just launched from the, uh, which is endorsed by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Once this medallion is sold out, then there will be a, um, a, a higher demand in the market because uh, we have only produced 4,000 pieces of that coin and um, there will be more than 4,000 people in the world who want to own this coin. Now, once the coin is sold out, then basically price will move up. Um, so basically, uh, what collectors or potential investors have to look for is the fact that the limited edition should be relatively small, and small in the coin industry means anywhere from, let's say, uh, 5,000 pieces to 100,000 pieces, depending uh, on the potential market you're looking at. Right, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for speaking to us. And Ricky, we hope that answers your question about why the coins from Gold Quest are more expensive, as you had said. 
as compared to other medallions, coins that you find in the market. And just to remind you about the Your Stocks Helpline, to send us your queries, you can go to moneycontrol.com. You'll find a Your Stocks Helpline icon there. You can just click on it and leave us your query. We 